Hello and welcome to Cosmic Waypoint. I am Erin. And I'm Paris. And today we're checking out the Arcade Spirits, the new Challengers demo that just Yay! came out. I'm very excited because I'm a big fan of the first game. Yes. I've uh, been anticipating well. this <laughs> demo Yeah. <laughs> ever since they announced <laughs> it was going to come out. <laughs> mm -hmm. I think it was pretty great that um like at the end of the first game you actually get a little teaser for this mm -hmm. game if you finish all the uh romance routes uh. and just slowly seeing everything coming together to this point is very exciting especially uh, i don't know just everything's <laughs> really cool and i'm excited <laughs> That's where well, we're at. What we're saying is we're fans and we're excited. <laughs> yes. All right. So should we just get started then, so we could finally see what it's all about? Yeah. Although I yeah. cheated and peeked at a couple <laughs> preview streams. I can't believe. Shout out you. to Molly, the character <laughs> artist. <laughs> but I'm ready if you are. Yes. Let's go. Right. Hello and welcome to Arcade Spirits the New Challengers. My name is Iris, your personal digital assistant. I'll be your guide through the world of 20XX, an alternate timeline where arcades never went away. The little icon of Iris is so yeah, cute. I know. <laughs> it's adorable. How so like the UI looks like remote yeah just like vhs or whatever player remote control yeah i don't know whatever <laughs> all of those things use those symbols so it's fine i know what i'm talking about <laughs> but before we begin your tale of love friendship and arcade competition let's log in and set up your personal profile <gasps> cool. yeah. i'm in Ooh! Vaporware. <laughs> For work groups. Okay, let's see. Username, password, check the I am not a robot box, identify all the fire hydrants. <laughs> Boy, this is oh, tough no. for an AI like me to do. And we're in! <laughs> I am blown away, Iris, getting through <laughs> all the robot it. checks. <laughs> I've loaded some default meta uh, loaded up some default metadata, but if I got anything wrong, please feel free to change it however you like. Ooh. Character creation. Ooh. Oh yeah, we talked about this before we started playing, but we're gonna base the character and rival on our pets. Yes. So, <laughs> uh I guess I'll be going first with my dog. Yes. <laughs> Um, hmm, what part should I start with? I don't know, there's so many parts. <laughs> I know, I'm like, ugh, I don't even know where to start. Where did these colors go to? Oh, that shirt. Okay. Yeah. I like the little hoodie, and yeah. it also works out basing it on my dog, because I have a little skeleton hoodie Aww. that I have for her that I got <laughs> the Halloween after I adopted her. <laughs> Uh, let's go with a, a red hoodie. <gasps> Hairstyles! Oh. Ooh. Yeah. Well, she's those short hair chihuahuas, so I, I feel like I gotta <laughs> give her some shortcut. <laughs> or like the buzz cut. <laughs> yeah, like the really old the yeah. buzz cut. Yeah. <laughs> or just full or bald. bald. <laughs> huh. Well, she's mostly black and white, so I'm like, yeah. hmm. <laughs> With the edgy silver hair, Ooh. or just the more natural dark hair. I mean, hmm. I'm partial to the edgy silver myself. <laughs> edgy silver. Yeah. Let's do it. She was a person. She would be edgy. 
edgiest little dog. Yes. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. I swear we're gonna get to the actual game <laughs> someday. This is, this is important. <laughs> it is very important. Oh gosh. I didn't oh. even think about looking at other oh, glasses no. colors. <laughs> Possibilities. I need an intervention. <laughs> well, since we're playing Apple as the main character, I'll give her a little cosmic symbol. Ah. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Stealing that. I don't know if you're going to use that for Daisy or not. No, I haven't um. decided. Like, I'm trying to plan ahead by looking at the options right here, but I'm still not, like, completely mm -hmm. set on everything I'm going to do. <laughs> yeah. I feel that. I was trying to think a little bit ahead, um, but obviously not enough. <laughs> uh, I have the perfect thing that I call her already. Beepo! <laughs> nice. <laughs> oh, I know exactly what to do for her. <laughs> First name. I gotta, hmm. Should I give her a human name? No. <laughs> Just apple. <laughs> Just apple. <laughs> I gotta think of a last name now. Well, I guess I'll name her after myself. <laughs> apple Raven. <laughs> Look at all them pronouns. Whoa. I'm gonna stick to the she, her, for Apple. Uh... No hats. No hats. I think I'll go without a hat for her. Okay. Uh, is that everything? I believe Gosh, so. I should have gone in order. <laughs> I think okay, I'm good. It's everything. Alright. Uh, name Beepo Apple Raven, which is totally a real name. <laughs> Pronoun she is. That's correct. Yeah, that's correct. Hello, Bebo. Gosh, this is exciting. <laughs> I'll do everything I can to support your hopes and dreams. Oh, but it seems you aren't alone, are you? No, you also have your rival to contend with. Oh. Why don't you tell me a bit about them, too? All right. All right. What do you want to start with? We'll go, we'll go in order. So we'll start <laughs> with name and profile. Uh, okay. Okay, the handle is going to be... Uh, Patootie, because we call her a cutie patootie. Pat patootie like that? Yep, yep. Okay. You got it. Nice. First name, First Daisy. Name. <laughs> Yours actually works as a real name. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Although the last name, uh, last name, Hammerpaw. <gasps> yum, yum. <laughs> yes. Hammerpaw. Yes. That is exactly what she's named after because right around when I started watching Kipo, or like, I started watching it right after there was an incident where she uh, basically punched me in the nose. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Unintentionally. But then I saw sure? the, yeah, the lumberjack cats and I was just like, Hammerpaw, that's her. Mm hmm. And also, but, Apple has just emerged from her blanket <gasps> pile and is staring at me from across the room. Aww. Very cute. <laughs> and we'll go with okay. she, her for okay. the pronouns. And I guess we'll give her the the compass symbol. The compass. To kind of fit in Is with that? the cosmic waypoint. <laughs> oh yeah, that worked out well. <laughs> You're cosmic. I'm waypoint. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Alright, now it's the, the nose. nose. Oh my god, what does her nose look like? <laughs> I'll let you look at that because Apple wants me to pick her up. Oh, no, she's laid down. <laughs> she's laid down just out of reach and I can't get her. It's fine. She'll come closer when she wants to. Alright. I think we got everything. <laughs> Alright, Daisy Hammerpaw. Daisy Hammerpaw. Patootie. Name Patootie slash Daisy Hammerpaw. Pronoun she. Is this correct? Yes, is it? it is. Okay. Interesting. So, Patootie is your rival. Tell me, is this a friendly rivalry or a hostile rivalry? Oh. Gonna be friendly. 
friendly. <laughs> She's got mad skills, which is also a jerk. <laughs> <laughs> we get along well enough. Yes. That's terrific. It's nice to have a friend, even if you two are usually on opposite sides of a fight. <laughs> Aww. Lastly, which version of the demo would you like to play? I've got a long and short version, so pick what, whatever suits your needs. I think the long the one long sounds good. Version. Yeah. Okay, I think we're all set. Have fun playing Arcade Spirits, the new challengers. Thank you, Iris. I'm excited. Oh, is that a VHS tape I hear? Following his work of fiction, all references to trademark classic arcade game titles are used under normative fair use and should not be considered an endorsement by their publishers or creators. Sounds good. <laughs> Yay! Gosh, actually hearing this with my headphones on, it's like so nostalgic. It has that <laughs> perfect VHS wear on it. <laughs> the ultimate team up. From as far back as I can remember, my dreams were always ones of victory. The roar of the crowd, the gleam of gold, the pulse-pounding action struggling against all odds to reach the very top. Achievement. Recognition. Triumph. When you're young, you don't put as much thought as to why you crave victory. You just do. You want to be the very best, like no one <laughs> ever was. My game of choice is Fist of Discomfort 2, the worldwide esports phenomenon. It's a two-on-two -two strategy fighting game, so you need a reliable partner in order to win. Major esports teams like Play to Win focus entirely on developing their FOD2 skills. And that's what I'm looking for, dedicated players to win the championship with. Now it is, now it is the distant future year 20XX. And those dreams of victory are what led me here today, to this unusual little arcade in the middle of the city. But I just want to look at the, around the background a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> so many details, it's super cool. Yeah, no, I am looking at it too. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what is that? We can, we can fix all the things. Come on in for the <laughs> sunny phone and computer repair shop. <laughs> nice, because it is it is too blurry for me to make out the. So I didn't even know it said anything down there. <laughs> yeah, my longtime rival Patootie just signed on with Team Play to Win, one of the top esports organizations in the world. So naturally, I wanted to find a great team myself. An app on my phone named Iris suggested I come here to good clean fun, combination pizzeria, laundromat, and arcade. She said I'd find a team to help me go for the gold. But well, that team isn't exactly what I was expecting. Ba ba ba. Uh. Oh look, a little pingu oh, in the I see in that ya. vending machine. <laughs> 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 The claw machine. <laughs> I know words. I just want to appreciate the background again. Yes. See, there's a vending. Like there's a vending machine in the background. Yeah, that's why I had to clarify <laughs> extra hard. <laughs> the pingy party next to it. Yeah. Um, I like the Fast Cars Seven has one of them accessible features on it. Yeah. Gosh, where are these games? We got Cam Cop. Yeah. <laughs> With rival colleges. <laughs> Bomb Man. Bomb Man. Yeah. <laughs> Bubba Baba. So many good details. <laughs> I love it so much. Okay. Um. <laughs> I just noticed Nanko has token. Um. <laughs> the members of Team GCF, for lack of a better name, aren't focused on my game of choice. They're interested in all sorts of other games too. Here, let me introduce them to you. 
their zapper. As the name implies, she's completely in the light gun games, blasting away at robots and zombies and zombie robots all day. <laughs> pew pew. Die die die. <laughs> that's that's how I play video games. Oh, I hate <laughs> the stupid RNG well. boss fight. Either send drones in a predictable pattern, or don't bother sending them in at all. I mean, can you believe this, Boop? It's 20XX and game designers are still relying on quarter-munching RNG in their games. Nom nom nom. Hey Zapper, how's the gunslinging going? Not as awesome as I'd like. Kinda boring, actually. Honestly. <laughs> but I need to get some training in for a freestyle competition coming up next month. You know, get my twirls and swooshes and quick draws nice and perfect. So, maybe take a break and play some Fist of Discomfort 2 with me instead? Hey, you know I'm down. Give me a few minutes to finish this level and I'll be right there alongside you, delivering beatdowns and one-liners. Heck yeah. Thanks, Zapper. Okay. I'm combining alright and okay in a one word. <laughs> That's one. Let's see if I can get the rest on board. The next might be a bit trickier. Rhapsody is our team's Fist of Discomfort 2 expert. They routinely post videos and blogs analyzing the game, breaking down tactics. A perfect option. Hey Rhapsody, interested in uh, actually playing some FOD2 instead of just talking FOD2 maybe? Can you give me like... 20 minutes. I'm reviewing some combo videos that just dropped which totally destroy the current meta. Since Fist of Discomfort 2 is only a few years old, players are still figuring out how to break the game, find cool combos, see what's OP. They haven't even settled on a good tier list yet. Just yesterday I stumbled upon a glitch with Tomake's that basically makes her unstoppable. I tried to recreate it in training mode, but I just couldn't. I think that might be Tomokaze. Tomokaze, yeah, probably. <laughs> <laughs> well, how about we try to recreate it in game? You can't rush these things, Bebo. I'll need to spend more time breaking it down frame by frame first. Be with you soon. I am thoroughly enjoying that we literally just forced each other to use our pets' nicknames on each other. Yeah. <laughs> This is pretty great. Yes. <laughs> Assuming Rhapsody doesn't get lost in analysis. <laughs> I like how they do the but... three I was gonna voice in a row. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's fine. Uh, but Domino, maybe. Maybe he'd be interested in starting right away. That just means I have to do three in a row right after. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, Domino plays... A bullet hell shoot 'em ups. The kind of games that that need extent <laughs> extents intense reflexes <laughs> and good instincts. As I approach, he's in the middle of avoiding uh nine thousand five hundred and ninety one glowing pink plasma balls. Wow. Hey Domino. <gasps> and that's when a screen fills with giant explosion and the words game over. Ah, uh, the inevitability of a game over. Some days you get the radioactive mutant space bear, some days the radioactive mutant space bear gets you, I suppose. But in the end, it's always the bear. Sage words. <laughs> oh, hey, it's you. Come to embrace the absolute void of space and the futility of a fight you can't win? <laughs> Gushing Doom can be yours for one measly quarter. Nice, what a deal. Yeah. Uh, another time. <laughs> How about some FOD2 instead? You're very insistent about this FOD2 dream, aren't you? I'm curious as to what your goals were in coming here. I just want to play FOD2, that's all. Well, good for you. It's nice to want things. <laughs> I'll join in the fray, but first I'm off to the bathroom. I've been holding it so long my back teeth are floating. Later. Okay, next candidate. <laughs> J 
Jinx is the arcade's driving game expert. She's usually found drifting around corners in Fast Cars... Fa fast Cars 7, not 5. At impossible <laughs> speed. One of the FC7 cabinets has been specifically adapted for her disability. Hand controls instead of pedals to give her joints a rest. Hey Jinx, I was wondering... No, never mind. You're clearly busy. Wanted to play some FOD too, huh? That was the plan, yes. Everybody's a bit occupied and you're in the middle of a race, so... Still worth asking. Don't assume things. You're part of this crew now. So we'll make some time when we can. Got a busy afternoon ahead, but I can sneak in... I can sneak some team practice in. Give me 30 minutes to rest my wrists a bit, and I'll be good to go. Deal? Deal. Okay, it's a start. If I can get uh, the last two on board, we'll really have something. The little, see these little <laughs> dragons, the little blep dragons? Those are, uh, those are the little creatures that Molly, uh, the character designer, made even before <gasps> this game. They are nice. all super adorable. <laughs> <laughs> They're just different, like, fantasy classes. And they're just all super cute. I I'm just letting them. them run through a bunch of them now. They're um, adorable. Loxley is the arcade's ticket and press. <laughs> now I'm all distracted looking at them. Ugh, I'm just gonna put my hand over it. Loxley is the arcade's ticket and prize game expert. He's mastered the art of liberating kitty toys from redemption games. And after obtaining a stuffed dragon from Good Clean Fun's arc uh, crane game, he pops open the lock on a case and puts it back on top. <laughs> Catch and release, yes? What? It's good to stay in practice, keep the skills sharp. No need to deprive a young one of a toy they might enjoy in the process. So the owners gave me the key to the machine, allowing me to put my catchers back in there. It's only fair. Only unleash my full talent upon corrupt and unjust arcades such as the palace. This arcade is sacred ground in comparison. But enough of that. Did I hear just now you're putting together a practice match? Yes, yes I am. It's a bit delayed, but it seems to be happening. Then I pledge my sword to your cause. Let me wrap up here and we shall begin the festivities. That's five. And finally, Grace Cooper, our resident programming genius. She's working on her own RPG called the Wander Wanderlust Trail. And surprisingly, she also made Iris, my personal assistant app. So this character is actually the sister of one of the main characters in the first game, a Gavin. Mm -hmm. So we're getting to see nice. more of that family now. <laughs> hey Grace, we need one more for for I want my brain wants to say for an FOD2 yeah. match, well, whatever. Uh, are you interested? Oh, hello. Certainly, but I've got this weird bug in my game I'm trying to hunt down first. For some reason, it's perpetually spawning wheels of cheese when I try to <laughs> climb this mountain. <laughs> it's like, I don't know whether I should make a Skyrim joke or a Dragon Age joke there. Yeah. But... <laughs> I love it either way. <laughs> yes. I love the cheese. <laughs> There's just so much to do before my game is ready for people to play. But I hope it'll be ready soon. Soonish. Eventually. In the future. I'm sure you'll figure it out, Mom. You're the best. Mom. <laughs> Grace almost bumbles her heavily modified handheld game console on hearing my phone cheerfully chirp at her. You... you really don't have to call me mom, Iris. But you're my mom. Would you prefer a different user designation, mom? <laughs> uh, anyway, I'll be with you soon. Promise. Not exactly <laughs> a thundering wave of enthusiasm. This isn't what I was hoping for when Iris set me up with this team. 
Tutti is in the big leagues with team to team play to win, and I'm in well a friendly neighborhood gaming club. Gaming club it makes me wonder. A gaming club. <laughs> Now, uh, choose a response based on your personality, because we got quirky, steady, kindly, gutsy, and flexibility. Maybe they'll support my dreams as friends. Perhaps I could provide leadership. It could inspire them to be champions. Oh. They could just need to see how much fun the pro tour could be. Or uh, are they ever going to be interested in glory? Glory! Hmm. Hmm. Maybe they'll support my dreams as friends. That's what my Is that book. what you want to go with? Yes. <laughs> what are you hmm. thinking? <laughs> I'm thinking the they just need to see how fun it is. Well, that was my second choice, so I'm good with Whoa. that one. <laughs> that works. <laughs> they just need to see how fun it is. Okay, so training to be a professional team is tough, but it's also fun, you know? Being paid to play video games? Isn't that every kid's dream? If I can get them to see what an amazing ride it'd be to seek championship gold, if I can show them all the upsides, maybe we could get something going. Zapper is always ready for some fun. Rhapsody enjoys a good time too. Domino's got a wicked sense of humor and might find a certain bent appeal in diving into this. First things first, though. Waiting on the team for today's practice. Every journey starts with a single step. That's right. But as I'm pondering <laughs> pondering that first step, someone else steps into good, clean fun. Someone unexpected. Someone's <gasps> unexpected. Da da uh -oh. da. <gasps> Four cocky looking people stand at the entrance to the arcade, smirking at everything. Each wearing flashy gold team jersey. Boo. Wait a minute. That's <laughs> team play to win. What are they doing here? <laughs> the beefy one of the bunch. I think his handle is Blitz. Looks around, clearly unimpressed with what he sees. <laughs> nice broom closet. Where's the arcade? Oh! <laughs> <laughs> The woman at his side. Yup, that's divine. I recognize her from our streams. Let's add a little snicker and stage whispers to him in response. I think this is the arcade blitz. It's charming, I suppose. Quaint in a way. Likely popular with the kitties. A slightly unshaven teammate smirks while rolling his eyes. That'd be Coda. Supposedly the brains of the team. Now, now, Divine. We're here to have fun and play nice. Let's not be all rude and stuff to the local yokels. Local yokels? But I ignore <laughs> these three. Because there's one more who has my complete, undivided attention. <gasps> team, chill. We're here to say hello to Bebo's new team, so play nice. They're a bit riled up because we just absolutely crushed it in an online tourney. So we wanted to come out and celebrate with you. You wanted to celebrate your win with me? Don't forget, we're also celebrating your acceptance onto this team, too. Oh. Look at all of you. You're all so cute. Oh, thank you all. <laughs> <laughs> I got so used to watching the demo with the hostile arrival, this is throwing me off. <laughs> yeah. It's like, um, why, why is she being so nice? <laughs> oh, it's a trick. Oh, a port. <laughs> it, it's good to see you, I guess. But my eyes started over to the rest of Patootie's team. They've all wandered off to around the arcade, laughing and making rude gestures toward a small collection of games. Why'd you bring them? Oh, they're harmless. Patootie waves it off like it's nothing. Sure, they talk a big game, but they're pretty chill. And 
from all over the arcade. I can see the other teams splitting up, looking to hassle my new friends. Certainly plenty of hassle to go around. Oh. Okay, so maybe they're a little overexcited. Let me see if I can do anything about this. We can catch up later. Okay. <laughs> Tootie smiles, <laughs> looking me in the eyes before turning around and leaving me where I stand. Immediately, the tension in the arcade jacks up to a ridiculous degree. Clearly more than 3.6 ro... ro... I don't know how to pronounce that. Ro... Rowan-gens? rowan -gens? Let's go I'd... with that. <laughs> of a... of an unstable nuclear situation. Uh, not great, not terrible. Team P2W are quickly finding various ways to cause trouble, antagonizing my new friends, messing with the games. The easiest thing to do would be to avoid all this drama and stay on the sidelines, but that's not what friends do. Friendship! Yes. Pit a rescue! Yes. Even if I'm relatively new friend, less than a day old, I should step <laughs> in and help where I can. Oh, we are really new friends. Yeah. <laughs> I like how you just arrived and we already brought trouble. Yeah. People, let me help. Uh, how can a phone app help with playground bullies? I'm keeping my microphone input, o input open and echolocating any trouble you might find around the place. Check out your map and pick a place to go. <gasps> But I don't think you're going to be able to visit everyone before things boil over. Uh-oh. Limited selection. Right. Priori pri pri prioritize. <laughs> got it. Totally got it. We got it. What's happening right now? Oh. Okay. Well, okay, that shows how many selections we have in the top right. Uh. That's pretty handy. Ooh. And got uh i think my rival and i need to have some words about this mess and then we got grace and loxley are being hassled by an absolute unit from p2w unit. <laughs> uh, a real chonker um rhapsody zapper and a p2wer are having a loud argument about strategy and then jinx and domino are dealing with someone from p2w hogging their racing game uh, let's let's do Jinx and Domino because they're my favorites so far. <laughs> nice. Over on the far oh. side of the arcade, <laughs> huh? I was gonna say I am a little sad that Jinx has the cat symbol, so we can't use the cat symbol. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but but then if we talk to her, then we see the cat symbol yeah, all the time. Yeah, true, so. true. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I also like um. I can't see it fully right now, but Jinx's cane is yeah. uh, an undead flamingo and is yes. very cool. <laughs> oh. oh, and I also just realized um, since she wears the two wrist braces, and I'm wearing a wrist <gasps> brace right now because <laughs> nice. of an injury I got back in August. <laughs> uh, Hooray! <laughs> we matchy match. <laughs> um. Over on the far side of the arcade, I spot Jinx loitering near her beloved Fast Car 7 game, shifting from foot to foot, legs clearly getting tired quickly. As for why she isn't comfortably seated behind a wheel and blasting around corners at unsafe speeds, well... One of the Team P2W players is sitting in her seat, lazily cruising through the turns with one perfectly manicured hand on a wheel. In fact, when I walk up to chat with Jinx, the P2W is, uh, the one who actually greets me first. It's a real-life apple is here to sit with me. <gasps> Sorry, no autographs right now. I'm totally killing it at this game. I was not planning on asking for one, no. Ah, oh, great. I appreciate that, you know? So many of my adoring fans just won't give me any space or privacy. Mm-hmm. It's always, oh, I love your streams, Divine, or can I have a hug, Divine, or will you sign my leg, Divine? Ugh, people can be so gross. Mm-hmm. 
Nobody here wants their leg autographed. Look, I scheduled an online game with a friend coming up soon, so you want to wrap up your race so I can get a turn? Aw, sorry. Arcade rules, honey. Winner stays on, and I am winning. Only because I modded the game to have weak AI so I can focus on improving my time trials. And you're in my seat. Don't see your name on it, honey. Perfectly good seat right next to this one, too, see? Play on that one. You're in the only one with hand controls. I literally can't use the other. Yeah, that sounds like a you problem, not a me problem. Not my fault you're defective. Mm, Whoa! Time to throw her out the window! Time to Ooh. punch this bitch! <laughs> yeah! Uh oh, Jinx's eyelid just started twitching and I think she's biting her lip hard enough to draw blood. Look, be a darling and fetch me some water or something, okay? I'll be here for some time. Time to throw her out another window! Jeez. Yes. Ugh. Jinx's grip on her walking cane tightens, to the point where I swear I can hear bones creak, but oddly she backs down. Damn it. I drop to a whisper low enough not to be heard over the digital revs of a digital car engine. Can't you just kick her off? It's your game. You've got priority. Want to. Believe me. But that's not the way arcades work. Winner stays on. Others quarter up and wait. Besides, Ben and Matt own the game, not me. Okay, so get Ben and Matt to come over and boot her off the thing. They're distracted. I look around for Ben and Matt, owners of this privately owned business establishment and resident authority figures. And they're also from the first game. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Oh, no. <laughs> Who are way too busy dealing with a couple of washing machines spewing out rich creamy soap all over the floor. Oh no. <laughs> well, I'd call this a mess, but it's sort of the elemental opposite of messy. <laughs> Maybe we could throw a phone party and call it a new selling point? I also love that their icons are yeah, the two halves of a heart. It's so I cute. Can't. <laughs> I can't. Uh, I see. I could beat her. <laughs> I nearly jump when the wallflower makes his presence felt. I'll race against her. I don't need hand controls. I can use a second player seat. If I beat her, she can't stay on the game. Since when are you a racer? I'm a survivor. I'm pretty sh sure keeping a ton of virtual metal from flying over the guardrail of a mountain pass is a lot like playing a shump. Shmump. <laughs> Don't know. It's a long shot. Or we could just convince her to bail. Don't ask me how, other than breaking her legs. Which is where I'd want to start, personally. <laughs> I feel Same. That. Yeah. If we don't play it cool, we risk making the situation with all these PTW toadies more volatile than it already is. Ugh, not worth. My online race will have to wait. My friend's pretty busy, but I can reschedule for later. It's the adult thing to do. Don't selfishly boot a player off your favorite game. Just adapt your own plans and move on. But whoever said I was <laughs> <Yeah>. an adult? <laughs> I want to support Team GCF. My new friends. How do we make this happen? Uh, so there's the option of Jinx, I've got an idea how to publicly shame the celeb <laughs> streamer for taking your seat. Or Domino, you're up. Put her, rear, put her in your rear view mirror and cross that finish line. You can do this. Or screw this. Uh, screw this, I'll just <laughs> unplug the game. Uh... <laughs> I vote... having Domino erase her. Alright. 
Domino, you think you can beat this lazy Sunday driver and take back Fast Car 7 with the, in the name of Team GCF? Can I? Can I? Well, honestly, I don't know. But hey, that's worth a shot. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, you got this. Yeah. Play it cool. I'll give you some advice as you go. Fast Car 7s isn't like driving a real car. I can't afford a car, so hey, that's fine with me. Let's do this. Perfect. Ha 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 ha. Domino <laughs> practically <laughs> hurls himself into the second player's seat, the cheap plastic of Fast Car 7 creaking in protest. He offers a big, creepy smile to the vine. <laughs> Hi. Wanna race? Uh, no. <laughs> Get out of here. <laughs> That's fine. I understand. I'll just... Oh no, my finger slipped and put a quarter in. I guess I'm joining <gasps> your race. Hey, these things happen. I sure do. What a coinky dink. <laughs> he grips the wheel as Jinx leans in over his shoulder, ready to give Domino a crash course in how not to crash. <laughs> Ugh. Fine, who cares? I've run like eight laps on this course. I'll beat you easily. Bring it, little Miss Celebrity Pants. Domino, focus. Accelerate through the straight, then break coming up to the turn. At first, it works just fine. Domino's wild and unlearned style is kept neatly in check by Jinx's pokes and prods, keeping him following solid racing lines. But he hasn't overtaken the vine yet, and the race is almost halfway over. If he's really going to win this, we need to switch things up. I lean <laughs> over to whisper an idea. We got Le Mans, Le Mans isn't working domino. Want to try demolition derby or a trash talk? <laughs> Always works against big ego energy. Get under her skin, or if you win this, I'll buy you some chicken nuggets. <laughs> I also give God, like, the chicken nuggets thing, like, dino nuggies has become such a thing in the Rusty Quill fandom. It's amazing, and I gotta give that a shout out. <laughs> <laughs> so should we do that one? I'll buy you some chicken nuggets? The... Sure. Some chicken <laughs> nuggies. If you win this, I'll buy you all the chicken nuggets you could ever want. <laughs> and his face lights up like a Christmas tree. Nuggies! <laughs> he puts his foot to the floor, <laughs> causing his virtual card to leap forward, hurling, hurtling at unsafe speeds towards the Divine's cruiser. Hey, don't go so fast around that curve. <laughs> nuggies, 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 nuggies. But are they dino nuggies? <laughs> they can be. They can be whatever you want, Domino. <laughs> oh. Whoa, That's whoa, true. whoa. I'm gonna buy them all the dino nuggies after this. <laughs> she swerves to avoid a collision, causing her car to spin out while Domino just barely holds his own around the curve. Soon he blasts right past the finish line, through the guardrail, and over the other side in a massive cataclysm of flame. <laughs> Amazing. Hell yeah. <laughs> Nuggies! <laughs> Nuggies! <laughs> <laughs> the power of the dino nuggie. Yes. Uh. <laughs> she looks a bit shaken from on that virtual explosion, wincing hard before returning to her usual cool expression. <laughs> Wins a win, I guess. Ugh, whatever. She bails as Domino hops to out to allow Jinx to resume her favorite game. Just in time, too. Thanks. Anything for a friend, my friend. Yay, friendship! Yes, friendship is magic. And the day yeah. is saved thanks to the dynamic duo of Domino and Beepo. <laughs> Heck yeah. I should play non-shmups more often. I 
that was kind of fun. A bit wild at the end, but before that, kind of fun. I mean, you know, wildness can be fun too. Uh, interested in PC gaming? I'd be happy to teach you MOBAs and shooters and the like, or dominance. You seem a bit <laughs> intense there. Everything okay? <laughs> or how about retro? Retro's always good. Want to go a few rounds on Joust, TM? <laughs> Are you okay? <laughs> but I, I don't know if I would actually okay? say that one, but I like that option. <laughs> <laughs> Can you tell me more about why you're so interested in chicken nuggets. <laughs> <laughs> the mysterious fourth option. <laughs> Need to uncover Domino's backstory yes. about chicken nuggets. Um, how about retro? Retro! That multi-game arcade machine you play on has a bunch of retro titles too, right? I'm down for some retro, maybe some joust DM. I I also just noticed a little space oh, invader yeah. <laughs> dude doing a little dance. To yeah. End. Ah, joust DM, everyone's favorite semi-cooperative game of accidentally totally dunking on your friend. Accidentally, of course. I'd be happy to crowd around my little game cabinet and tap some buttons with you, Bebo. But I think I'm taking a break first. Cool down a bit after that mess. You feel me? I feel you. I was about to say that on my own too. <laughs> <laughs> Groovy. See you later. Finger guns. Pew pew. Uh, it's got thing. a little out of hand. Oh yeah. Gotta save him for Zapper. <laughs> Just gonna holster those bad boys. Yeah. <laughs> um. Things got a little out of hand, but in the end, we got Jinx back on the road. That's what matters. Okay, where am I going next? Okay, we got Zapper and uh, Rhapsody, and then... Oh shoot, I, <laughs> I blinked for a second. We got Loxley and Grace uh, in the pizzeria. Uh, and also a rival. Oh yeah, and the rival. Oh, hiding in this corner. <laughs> but we only got two visits left. Uh, let's... Let's do, uh, talk to Zapper and Rhapsody. Okay. I already b blanked on their names. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> new game, new names. Gotta learn yeah. again. <laughs> um, off to one side in the laundry zone, away from Ben and Matt's <laughs> bubble bonanza. Oh. <laughs> Rest in pieces, Ben and Matt. Oh, uh, I spot a small gathering. Rhapsody and Zapper, as well as Coda from Team PTW. Did I say PTW? Whatever. Yeah. P2W. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's fine. Weren't you a member of P2W for, like, a very short time? I guess you at least stayed up on the meta game when you actually had a good team. I also want to mention, um, I remember Molly mentioning that the tattoos that Zapper has, I think it was Epona's song from the whichever Zelda game that was that's not coming to my mind right now. Uh. <laughs> but I think that's super cute and I love it. Such a nice. good detail. Everyone knows Tomikaze is headed for Nerf City. It's patently obvious. She's way too flexible, which makes her too powerful. Nearly every major FOD2 team runs at least one, if not several, Tomikaze specialists, making the meta so predictable it hurts. Once they nerf her, she'll be as good as gone from the game. There's always gonna be a place for a middle of the road for a middle of the road character like Tomikaze. She's a solid pick. Individually, she's not that powerful, but paired is where her true power shines. She's easy for new players to pick up and play. So, no, I don't think they will change her dramatically anytime soon. Who cares about noobs? FOD2 needs to retain the core player base and satisfy the demands of the players. There's no noobs and there is no core player <laughs> yeah. base because they gotta come from somewhere. <laughs> 
No, I'll gatekeeping allowed. I'm gatekeep, gatekeeping, gatekeeping. <laughs> yes, yes. The competitive None scene can't that. grow with such an obvious main pick at the heart of the metagame. Tamakazi has to go. You're a fool for not seeing that. A flunked out fool. <laughs> uh, what's wrong exactly? Oh, thank our, our Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. <laughs> Aaron Jesus. It took That's me great. a second. <laughs> yeah, it took me a second too. <laughs> oh, thank Aaron Jesus. It's Bebo. Talk some sense into these two, okay? All this metagame yammering is boring. Who cares what characters are in and out of the game? Who gets buffed or nerfed? You adapt or die. You can't just remove Tamakazi. Think of how that will impact the game. All we'll have are characters that are too difficult to learn, which will drive new players away. And new players grow the competitive scene, not character removal. Yeah. Whatever, fool. Ugh, my brain is licking out my ears. All I hear is slosh, slosh, slosh. I keep staring at her braids because they're just really pretty to look at. <laughs> Ah, uh, so it's a debate about FOD2 FOD nerd stuff. Still, if I can step in and close this down, that's one less flashpoint of conflict going on in our arcade. Rhapsody's right, without a simple and flexible character at the heart of the game, newcomers will have a hard time. Zapper's right, ultimately it's up to the players to adapt to whatever changes may come. Or, I'm sorry, did you seriously just call my friend a fool, Coda? How is that helping? <laughs> and then we stuff him into a locker. We stuff him into a washing machine. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Spin cycle, activate. Yes. Extra long. It's the ultimate, uh... Oh, I don't even remember what that's called anymore. It's swirly. swirly. There we go. <laughs> it's been so long since I've seen, like, kids' shows use yeah. that term. Oh, man. Because I'm sorry. Ooh. Did you seriously just call my friend a fool? You want to go with that one? Yeah. How dare you call my friend a fool? I'm sorry. Did you really call Rhapsody a fool? Can we please ratchet down the testosterone, testosterone for a bit and talk like rational actors here? You want to talk metagame, I'm down, but there's a difference between discourse and flame wars. You? You're edging into the danger zone. I like the discourse and the flame wars. It's like two different eras of internet culture. It's, yeah. Just gonna leave that there. <laughs> so settle down, Edge Lord, and let's chat. Wonderful. The last refuge of someone without a single good thought in their head. Playing the tone police. Mm-hmm. You're the reason perfectly good discussions on FOD2 forums get shut down because someone steps in and whines about their feelings getting hurt. So you'd rather I insult you while making my points? Would that make you comfy? Or <laughs> don't be that guy. Nobody likes that guy. Be an adult, please. Or, okay, I'm done. There's no sense continuing this conversation. <laughs> like, so you'd rather I insult you? Would that make you comfy? <laughs> okay, let's bring this down to your level then. Look, I can't even mock you without resorting to swearing. How about, Tomokaze belongs in a meta for valid reasons, you chundering tumble fart. <laughs> <laughs> or maybe, your insistence that new players don't belong in this community is pure gatekeeping, you woeful son of a one-eyed motherless goat. <laughs> wait, 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 I've got it. Your attitude is part of the reason we have a problem with toxicity in FOD2. You misalign motorized artificial insemination assistant. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dun, dun, dun. <laughs> Roasted. <laughs> Rhapsody approved. Rhapsody tries to stifle a giggle as Coda turns 11 shades of purple. 
What is it in? <laughs> we got double the point. But yeah, wasted. I have no <laughs> idea what happened to that man, and I still feel like I need to wash your mouth out with soap. <laughs> probably, probably. <laughs> well, what do you say, Coda? Got a witty retort. <laughs> yeah. Well. Well. Boop you. Nice. <laughs> that <laughs> that was actually pretty satisfying. That was great. Um, with that, he stomps off, eager to be done with us entirely. Not exactly how I envisioned ending this discussion, but I guess you're right. It wasn't really going anywhere. But happy to watch him leave. And I should go too. There is a stream I'm wanting to catch. Just glad to see that little twit put in his place. Good work, Beepo. I should probably get out of here as well. Before he comes back. Oh, excuse me, I started burping. Um, <laughs> oh my gosh, I just realized I had pizza for dinner. And um, in the first game, there was a whole thing with pizza and a bagel. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Unintentional coincidence, whatever. I have lost my train of thought there. Um, <laughs> I should probably get out of here as well before he comes back with a head full of steam and more points to make. Okay, where am I going next? Hmm. hmm. Do we want to meet the rest of the main cast for this last one? Yeah. Maybe. Okay, Grayson Moxley. I'm sorry, Patootie, I love you in real life. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, we're on friendly terms here. Yeah. <laughs> we'll just chat them later. Um, chat her later. Um, on the far side of good, clean fun, Grace is demoing her indie RPG on that fancy homebrew handheld game console. Sort of. Uh, wow. Before Blitz got in the way, I just saw a sign that was like the surprise me pizza, and I want to see that sign again. I was like, wait, wait, come back. <laughs> <laughs> Blitz, move! Get wow. out of here. <laughs> this game's easy as hell. Slice, dice, 200 XP. That old guy didn't even put up a fight. No. Because <laughs> he's an old man. That's, that's a shepherd, not a fighter at all. Blitz, please. You're not supposed to be killing the villager NPCs. I don't see why not. They're packed with tons of XP. I've leveled up three times in five minutes cutting my way through this town. That's be they have XP because they have levels and crafting skills, not because they're meant to be murdered. Don't know what to say. XP is XP, and they're good XP. Ha! <laughs> Look at the blood spray. So much for the laundry you're carrying, lady. Gonna need to put a, a stain treatment on that oh, blanket. No. You you killed the town weaver. She loved music and quilting and and. So what's this game called again? Wandering Trial or something? Where's the big bad at the end? I want to skip to there, to the end. Ha! Run, stupid villagers! I've got an axe and you've got heads and I'm gonna use one on the other. P please don't. Just give me back my game. Hmm. What was that? Speak up. Can't hear you over all these digital screams and stuff. No. G give it back, please, if you don't mind. You're playing it all wrong. Hey, come on. You'll never grow as a game designer without feedback. Don't you want me to test this thing? Well, if you're gonna be a jerk about it, then it's not even... You're gonna get mad at him. <laughs> God, I already see where this one's going and I hate it. Not enough game devs really listen to the gamers, you know? They hide and ignore us or ban us from their forums. Or are you afraid of free speech? Uh... Uh, give him a wedgie mm. to go with the swirly. <laughs> yeah. No, no, it's not that. I just, I am okay, I guess. Puzzled as to how this even happened, I try to catch Grace's attention. 
as she mouths, help me my way briefly, unable to even raise her voice, so racked with nerves and anxiety. I wanna Aww. hug her. Punch this guy. Yeah. Punch this guy, save Grace, give her some pizza. Yeah. And make everything better. Yeah, play her game um, correctly. Talk to all the villagers and become friends with them. Yeah. <laughs> like she probably intended. Mm-hmm. And I barely notice Loxley sliding up sliding on up next to me. I have no idea how one manages to lurk in the shadows of a brightly lit pizzeria, but he's done it. That such a ruffian would should harass her fair grace like this. It's unacceptable. Unacceptable. Something must be done. Unfortunately, he's talking. <laughs> er, fortunately. <laughs> Unfortunately. Unfortunately. <laughs> I just can't hear him. Jeez, he's so quiet over there. Fortunately, he's talking quietly enough that the ruffian himself didn't hear us. Plus that little speaker's... <clears throat> Plus that little speaker's loudly squealing it with the screams of <laughs> innocent. No. Grace, why did you program them to scream? <laughs> so Grace, why did you program them to scream? <laughs> uh, she's too good at programming. They have minds of their own now. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh gosh, that makes it so much worse. <laughs> I regret bringing that up. <laughs> Uh, someone needs to save those villagers now. Yes. <laughs> and then, and Ben and Matt are busy dealing with an impromptu foam party, or we could get this guy booted out of here. No, the task falls to us, I'm afraid. As our friends and allies, we are honor bound, and I suggest this be executed in a subtle manner, lest mere, lest mere tensions turn into full troubles. I propose shenanigans. <laughs> if you can distract this brute in a way that makes him drop the game, I will promptly retrieve it. You want him to drop Grace's custom homemade game console? I have faith in my agility. I can save it from impact from the f uh, with the floor, and this act would break his attention away from it. Albeit, if you have a better stratagem in mind, I'm all ears. But we should act swiftly and decisively. What do you propose? Got. I'm gonna try talking him down. Grace would prefer a peaceful resolution. Or okay, Loxley, it's time for shenanigans. I'll go high, you go low. Let's do this. <laughs> Get it? I'll just grab the game away from him. I prefer a direct approach. Time for shenanigans. Shenanigans. Yeah, I'm not in the mood to deal with this guy head on. The idea of pulling some epic maneuver on him has a certain bent appeal. So, we run a distraction play? Indeed. I'll get in position. Do you have- wait. Do what you can to pull his attention away from the game and make him drop it. We'll outwit this fool with ease. Tally-ho! <laughs> Loxley bends back or blends back with in with the crowd. Bends back. His the pity crowd. Up. <laughs> it just like dramatically bows and then backs into the crowd. Everyone behind was like, "What is he doing?" <laughs> yeah, the opposite of blending in. <laughs> <laughs> it's like when you're an Assassin's Creed and you just start crouching into the crowd and people just look at you <laughs> funny. Um. Loxley blends, blends back in with the crowd. I almost said it again. Tugging his hoodie up over his distinctively sharp gaze, becoming a simple nobody. Leaving me to engage with this lunk in some manner that'll tank aggro for, from him. Let's see what would work without causing too much chaos. Well, we're in the middle of a tightly <laughs> arranged restaurant full of tables and chairs and condiments and such, aren't we? tip and smack a pizza slice right on his back <laughs> or trip not tip accidentally quote unquote spill soda on his pants or stumble forward pulling him by the arm hmm I 
kind of don't want to do the soda one because I don't want to accidentally get soda on the game. Maybe trip and smack a pizza slice right on his back. I'm so sorry, <laughs> pizza. You did not deserve this, but we'll remember your oh, sacrifice. Poor, poor pizza. <laughs> For my next trick, I'll require an extra cheesy slice of cheese on cheese on cheese. Something really gooey and sloppy. With Ben and Matt distracted, I sneak behind the counter with Cat. Wait, are they <laughs> back from the washing machine disaster? Um, no, I think it, I think Matt, it's because oh, yeah. they are distracted. Yeah, with they. That. Yeah, <laughs> that makes more sense. <laughs> I was like, are they teleporting now? Yes, oh. we're um. here. <laughs> They're just that amazing. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I sneak behind a counter with cat-like quickness, fetching my weapon of choice. And then, strolling along as casual as can be. Oh no, how clumsy of me. What the hell? Feeling the sizzling cheese splatter all over his back, the jock staggers forward, dropping Grace's game in the process. Just as Loxley slips in nice and slow, a vague green blur as his hand snakes out to grab the game just inches above the ground. And he's out again, before the P2W <laughs> player even notices what happened. He's too busy looking like he wants to tear me in half anyway. Hey! Oh. Watch where you're booping going. Sorry, sorry, my mistake. Are you okay? He angrily wipes at his clothes before grabbing a fistful of napkins from the dispenser nearby. You know, conveniently, there's a laundromat just over. I know where it is, thank you. I swear, if you wrecked my booping clothes... And he stomps off, having completely lost interest in Grace's game. Thankfully not taking interest in cold-blooded murder, either. Yeah, only the digital kind. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, jeez. That... That was... That was... Worry not, Lady Grace. Your allies shall always be here in your time of need. That was dangerous. You could have started a fight. You didn't have to do that. You really shouldn't have done that. But at least my game is safe. Oh, what a mess. I have to go restore the database to bring all my friends back. Oh. Um, <laughs> I know. Um, excuse me. I've got work to do. Um, thank you. Uh, it seems our swashbuckling antics have not pleased our fair maiden. Nevertheless, I'm quite impressed with your skill, young Beepo. I don't know why that's just so... <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's just amusing to me. Um, you acted with decisive swiftness to rescue her, rescue her hard work. Should we be forced to draw blades against a foe in the future, I shall, fe I shall feel a great comfort knowing I fight alongside you. Okay, we could drop the robin <laughs> back for a bit. It's getting far too silly. Comrades in arms, shall we be then? Like the uh, two musketeers. I'm wondering, why didn't you confront him directly yourself? Why did we need the ruse? I like the <laughs> wait. two musketeers. Oh, wait, yeah. Take the surprise me pizza well, I just challenge was reading today. The... <laughs> yeah. I don't know if I'm ready for that kind of commitment. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, I have trust issues. <laughs> <laughs> okay, two musketeers. Yeah, the two musketeers. <laughs> Aha. Together, no matter what this foul world throws at us, swords drawn, muskets at the ready for king and country. All for one and one for all. Forsooth, <laughs> whatever foes shall stand. <laughs> whatever foes shall stand shall on this day fall, for we have a bond which burns eternal and <laughs> over light of... Okay, that's laying it on a bit thick, even by my standards. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> but regardless, I appreciate the effort. Life's no fun if you aren't willing to living it. Ugh. Life's no fun if you aren't living it to the fullest. And for me, that's a hearty, chivalrous attitude. 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 <laughs> <laughs> 
Well, our work here is finished. Shall we hark a... I can't talk anymore, gosh. <laughs> Shall we hark and away before that uncouth fellow comes back seeking vendetta? Let's get out of here before he comes back and kick the boop out of us. Yes, that. Yup, definitely a good idea to make ourselves scarce in the area. It's getting late. How long we were going to have to deal with Team P2W squatting in our clubhouse at Anyway, I missed a word there somewhere. How long are we going to have to deal with it? That's what I was trying to say. Beep beep beepo. <laughs> hmm? <laughs> I'm I was detecting drinking water. <laughs> How dare Iron's try to assassinate me. <laughs> beep beep beepo. <laughs> <laughs> Adorable. I'm detecting a buildup of social tension. Please follow the indicator on your map. Okay. I sense oh, there was great. tension now that came what? immediately. <laughs> <laughs> Over in the arcade, around the FOD2 machine itself, P2W squares off against GCF, both sides having enough of this mess. Don't even know why we came to this pathetic little arcade in the first place. Just a prissy little c celeb mutante loser who thinks celeb her follower mutante. count is a metric of awesomeness. Oh, like a debutante. I was trying yeah. to figure out what celeb it was mutants. mashing together. <laughs> yeah. That makes sense. Bunch of fragile snowflakes can't even take a... Complete waste of time acting all high and mighty when you're. Simply don't understand how the game is meant to be played, and with that attitude, you never will. I was just trying to explain, or was just trying to explain how I felt. I'm sorry. I wasn't trying to. Leave Grace alone, you booping loser. Is this all really necessary? Can't we just drop it? This is getting ridiculous, but I know how to solve it, <laughs> or at least refocus all this aggression into something else. <laughs> it's an arcade, isn't it? So let's game. Patootie, we'll play a match of FOD2, and then everybody calls it a day, okay? Or that's it. If we're going to fight, we fight like gamers. Patootie, you, me, FOD2, let's do this. Or... Uh, if we're done shouting, can we please focus on what we all do best and just play some FOD2, please? I also Let's just noticed this. this machine down here is Konomi. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Let's do this, gamers! Yeah! Okay, boop this. We're all done shouting past each other. It's time to put up and shut up. Tootie. I like this, like, totally done face on the main character. Yeah. <laughs> on Beepo. Um, but Tootie, we go toe-to-toe -to -toe in FOD2 just like the old days. One match to close out this whole mess, then everybody goes home. You got a step or not? Of course I accept. I just hope you can keep up with me. It'd be a shame if it was over before it began. Tootie steps forward from the rest of P2W, welcoming the competition. Koda, will you join me against- Koda will join me against you and one of your teammates. Fair. Oh yeah. <laughs> we'll see which team <laughs> rules and which team drools once and for all. I wasn't planning on raising the emotional stakes of this fight, but that old urge to win prove myself. It's rising. A win over Team P2W would do a lot for morale. Do a lot for our image. Could be the springboard we need to into our future. Agreed. Oh no, another burp. I'm sorry. Agreed. <laughs> Let's do this. All three of us are ready to go, but we need a fourth. A partner I can rely on. Two versus two. That's the rule of FOD. 
Strongest foot forward, who do I want to call upon for this decisive fight? Who do you want to hang out with? Because that's what it really comes yeah. down to. <laughs> uh, let's do Jinx. Okay. Hey, Jinx. You wanna? Absolutely. <laughs> Let me give you a quick tutorial of the Fist of Discomfort 2 strategy minigame. I got distracted looking at the instructions. <laughs> It plays a lot like rock, paper, scissors with defense special attack. Special beats defense, defense beats attack, attack beats special. Mm -hmm. Your personality will give you some bonus points every turn. A super gutsy person may be better at attacking. Lastly, you can use your ultimate once per game to automatically win a round. If you use yours the same time your opponent does, you counter it perfectly. Part of me wants to look at the what our stats are, but I don't want to see our relationship points yet. Yeah. So we'll just go in not knowing. <laughs> if you're if, if you're a little confused, that's okay. Win or lose, the story will continue. Give it your best and good luck. I believe in you. Thank you, Iris. <laughs> Okay, think, focus. I say as I got distracted when this dialogue <laughs> yeah. box came up. Um, Patootie generally loves to attack so I, so I can counter her with defense. Okay, gotta get the strategy going. Patootie likes yeah. attacking. As for Coda, he likes to rotate. Attack, then defend, then special. And then, well, it's a wild card. Wait, what was it? Attack, defend, then special? Attack, defend, special. Okay, and then random. Win or lose, I need to give it my all. Even if I really, really want to win this, I have to focus on the fight and the fight alone for the sake of my dreams. Ah! Let's go! <laughs> I got did a little this. dance to the music, but also I'm freaking out. But not really. It's fine. It's fine! <laughs> Alright, round one. Uh, Spring. Beepo zero versus point so far. Okay, so we know she likes attacking. Should we try yeah. defending? So we'll defend. Oh, it shows how many points we get with the um, personality points, I think. Um, defend. Okay, let's defend. Nice. So Patootie wants to come at me. Fine by me. I turtle up and defend against the attack, keeping myself and my minions safe. You defend beats their attack, you earn 110 points. Nice. Hell yeah. 100 to 0. Okay. So Coda starts attack defense special. Yeah. Uh, so maybe we should So defend. we need to defend again. Okay. Let's try it. Oh, oh no! <laughs> <laughs> Could at least make this challenging for me. Defend beats their attack. 120 points. 230 to zero! Heck yeah! <laughs> Alright. Do we think she's still gonna attack or do you think she's gonna mix it up? I think she's still gonna or attack, we could also so let's. Go. Let's say let's defend again. Okay. Let's try it. Oh, nice call. Ah so Patootie wants to come at me, fine by me. So I think it's the same. 130 yeah. points. 360 to zero. Heck yeah. Alright, so Alright, so he's, oh, gonna, he's gonna defend, defend. so we need to do special. Alright. Ha! <laughs> Not bad. Not bad at all. 150 points. 510 to zero. Hell yeah. Alright, round five, fall. Huh. Uh, hmm. Could also I'm, use I'm, an I'm deciding between defend or ultimate because... <laughs> <laughs> 
let's let's go for the ultimate. Yeah, let's see what happens. Yeah. Oh yeah! Whoa! <laughs> it's over <everywhere. laughs> So we're excusing my once per game ultimate, but the time is right. I channel my energy and pour it on in one huge splashy attack. Something Batuti wasn't prepared for. <laughs> Use your ultimate, you earn 130 points. Score 640 to zero. Uh, what's he on now? So now we need, he's he's gonna do the special, so Jinx has to attack. Okay. Well, I guess it doesn't have to, oh. but. <gasps> <laughs> Too slow, no. you need to move faster than this. Oh no. Oh, he uh, used the ultimate. Ah, uh, how dare! Oh, they actually still... got points for once. <laughs> I oh. know. We're still beating them by a lot. <laughs> yeah, round seven, winter. Defend. Uh, defend. You both oh. defend. It's a tie. We get thirty points. They get twenty. Now the score is 670 to 150. Hmm. Mm. I've lost track of where Koda's at. He used the ultimate, well, now he's so at the, he didn't use the special But he's yet, now, because so. it goes attack, defend, special, and wild card. Okay. Is what is that after that, so it could be anything. Uh, let's try attacking again. Just to see, because okay. he didn't do it the special, he did the ultimate, so maybe he'll do that. Yeah. <laughs> nice. I like it's just a smack to <laughs> yeah. the face. It's yeah. like pathetic. 180 points. Score is now 850 to 150. <gasps> Victory! Yay! Your team score 850. Opponent score 150. Woo! That was cool. Um, a smarter, faster, stronger. We had all we needed to win this race. Hell yeah. We won. I keep looking at that little penguin. It's so cute. Look at the little it's feet like free sticking me. out. <laughs> Loxley, please get this penguin I was going to say, me. Loxley, free him. <laughs> we won. We won a match over the best team in the nation. All those old instincts come rushing in. Thrill and satisfaction of victory. Beating P2W feels good. Feels damn good. <laughs> damn good. <laughs> so good it changes my voice. Yes. Hard fought, hard won. Solid match all around. GG. That was a close one, Beepo. Had my heart pounding. See? My hands are still shaking. Love that rush. Ah, love a good sport. Gotta admit, that was a lot of fun. Just like the old days when we'd run into each other on the ladder, huh? But Koda's a bit less sporting about the loss. Yeah. I call hacks. They have to be cheating. No way a bunch of laundromat losers could beat us. That just makes you the bigger loser. Ha ha ha. Anyway. Man, I don't even feel like trash talking you. It's too <laughs> it's easy. Too easy. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna read through the choices. Yeah. Was that the one that you're thinking of doing? I, that's just the first. That's just what I saw <laughs> first, and it just made me laugh. I haven't looked at the other ones. <laughs> <laughs> totally valid, and I'm feeling that. Um, there's no call for that. Accept your failure with dignity, or oh yeah, I used my phone to hack the game and give myself like a million points. Or learning to accept loss is an important part of emotional maturity. And I also mean, the man I is. feel like trash talk <laughs> you. <laughs> the, the, the above is a good point, but this guy's not going to listen to that. So man, I don't even feel like trash talking you. <laughs> <laughs> we already did and roasted you hard. Yeah, yeah remember last time? <laughs> like five minutes ago. Um... Gotten a dozen one and one insults I could use, which you saw a few of them earlier, but it's just too easy. Save all these digs for a much more important match. 
Maybe next time you lose, I'll bother to grease you with my smack talk. Isn't that also smack talk? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you lost. You're done. And that's all there is to it. Oh my god. I want a rematch. I <laughs> demand a rematch. Best of three. Only way to prove that wasn't a fluke. Because it was a fluke. They're all cheaters. Really? I saw a clean victory. And now, the whole internet has seen it as well. Loxley holds up his phone, playing a video he'd been secretly taking of the whole match of <laughs> P2W's humiliating loss and Koda's ranting. A bit clickbaity, but I opted to title it Whiny Team P2W Crybaby Utterly Schooled by Local Laundromat <laughs> Underdogs. Lovely, isn't it? Now the whole world, all of China knows. Now the oh, whole no. world knows your pedestal isn't quite so out of reach. You, you little. I'm about to reply when I'm cut off. Er, yeah. A figure who had been lurking in the background this whole time, making her presence felt. Cool. <gasps> Coach for Team P2W, Victoria Proud. Formerly the esports star player Valkyrie. Oh, I love her earrings. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> it's just a cute little. Is that like a little Pac-Man with the little dots I can't going tell. up her they're, ear? They're t it's too blurry for oh, me to tell. Oh, too small for you. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'll send you a screenshot later. <laughs> well, I can so, also uh, play the demo myself later. Oh yeah, that's later. true. <laughs> this is true. And everyone watching should check out the demo. We Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Link in the description. <laughs> mm hmm uh, I'd seen her come in with the team, but she hadn't talked to anyone since arriving. Quiet like death, only watching and waiting. Now she glowers at Coda and Petiti, extremely unhappy with the results, her frown causing Coda to shift nervously. Uh, coach, I just meant that. She holds up a finger to her lips, silencing him. Then... In turn of eeny meeny miny mo between her two players, her finger eventually lingers on Coda. <gasps> Coda, you're fired. Oh snap! Wh what? But this whole mess is thanks to Patootie. She wanted to come here in the first place. Her eyes narrow at Coda's complaints, which stops in mid sentence. Stop passing the blame. Not only do you look childish, but you made the whole team look bad. And I won't stand for that. She sighs grudgingly while it's crossing her arms. She's by no means thrilled. Not only are you fired, your non your non compete clause means you're not joining any other teams. Oof. Not that they would have you. Especially not after I tell them you're blacklisted. Oof. Be happy I'm not doing anything else. Koda stands there in total disbelief, as the other members of his team edge away from him as if he suddenly caught a very communicable and very nasty disease. <laughs> Defeated, Koda slinks away into the, to a corner of the arcade. With Coda out of the picture, the coach redirects her attention to... Me? I gulp, and hopefully not too audibly. As for you, Bebo, congratulations on your victory. Clearly, you've earned it. Thank you. But I wouldn't spend all night celebrating. No. You haven't won some grand war. You're an impressive challenger, no doubt, but... Take my advice and be content with what you have. Dare you say, a new challenger? <laughs> Winkle! <laughs> she nods and I'm confused. Did she just give me a nod of respect? She twirls her finger in the air and the rest of the team P2W follow her out. Even Coda, who's trailing at a safe distance. 
we won. We beat the best team in a nation simply by being who we are, by working together. Friendship! If a- yeah! If we can accomplish this, we can avoid becoming a group of toxic jerks like P- Team P2W. This could be the start of something great. As I reflect, I note that all of Team GCF are together, unified because of this moment. All of us smiling together. I think I understand why Iris brought me here. They might. They may not be hardcore FOD2 players like Patootie's new team, but they are a team. They're friends. They're allies. They're together as one, and I've done my best to support them today. They could do anything they set their minds to. Maybe this is the moment. Maybe I can convince them of that. Beep beep! <gasps> this is an intense identity situation! You can only pick a response that matches your top two personality traits. Ooh. Oh, I didn't realize those were your top two. That's oh. great. <laughs> you call yourselves casuals? Uh, Heck so no! Can choose between. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, there's the. Uh, I like you call yourself yeah. casuals. Heck no! Your arcade kaiju and our and your hour is nigh. Uh, the other option like we have that. is, yeah, uh, today is proof we can make make something big of Team GCF. We can conquer the Pro Tour. It's destiny. But we're going with the Kaiju. Destiny. Yeah, your arcade Kaiju. kaiju. Yeah. Uh, know what I see when I look at Team GCF? Only the finest rubber monsters to ever step <laughs> on Tokyo. Your walking monster gods. I mean, did did you somehow miss that we just whoop uh, Team P2W's ass? Or I can never remember if that's something that normally gets censored or not in this game, but no. we'll go with it. <laughs> I don't think so. Oh, <laughs> uh, what team of so-called casuals can manage that? I say we ride this wave straight to FOD2 uh, Pro Tour itself. This is the time. If we strike out now, how far can we get? Who knows? Let's find out. It's true. Casters will be talking about the incident with P2W for some time. If we want to make bank off this, we need to act fast. Pew pew. Oh, you know I'm ready to go. Just say the word and I'll be off like a bullet. Speaking of pew pew. (laughs) You know what? This is chaos, but it's my kind of chaos. I'd love to see where this goes, too. I'm in. I can't oh, believe we yeah, each just... chose the <laughs> characters that get yeah. grouped together. <laughs> <laughs> right? Um, I also only just noticed that uh, Domino's shirt is, uh, like, the little ship that shoots out the bullets and the uh, Shmup. Oh, I can't believe it took me this long to figure <laughs> that out, but I love it now. <laughs> um, not sure I want to ride. <clears throat> want to ride the flame on the back of a clickbait video, but I suppose it couldn't hurt to try. Okay. Well, uh, if Jinx is interested, I'll go along with it too. Who knows? Maybe we'll actually win some matches. And where Grace goes, I shall follow. <laughs> to the very gates of hell itself. Jinx grinds her teeth a bit at that. <laughs> Feels like she doesn't particularly like Loxie's night complex concerning Grace. Yeah. It's happening. My dream. My dream's a victory. I found a team willing to go all the way. Done it. Iris was right. This is where I need to be. Hold it. Hold it! One thing to make absolutely clear. You want to whip this team into something resembling a competitive professional esports crew? I... Yes. That's what I said. (laughs) Okay. Then you are the one responsible for making that happen. You... You're our new manager. What? Never had one. Never needed one. Not until now. You want to take... We want us to take this seriously. We'll need someone who can network, shake hands, make deals, sign paperwork, make travel arrangements, find sponsors. 
And since you're so gung-ho about this, that means it's you. Yes, of course. It makes sense. I'm sure you'd do a great job as team manager. Maybe you could even find a better name for us than Team GCF. See a little pew pew on the oh, shirt. Oh, I see, I see. <laughs> oh, goody, we have a professional cat herder now. Have fun trying to keep this merry bunch on task, Beepo. I'd sooner eat glass than take on that job. Uh. <laughs> but I say we don't give Beepo absolute authority. You saw how that creep who runs P2W just up and fired Coda. None of that. You don't get to access or hire anyone new. Now, now, I'm sure we can turn Beepo. We can turn to Beepo for leadership without her becoming a tyrant. After all, sick tempered Tyrannus, yes. I think that was a threat. Yes, that was a threat. <laughs> Just a word of advice from someone who's been inside and alongside of esports for years. It's a lot of hard work. A lot of hard work with barely any thanks or praise. And if anyone has a whisper of negativity, you get the full brunt of it. But overall, you do great. I'm looking forward to seeing what you can do. Three cheers for Manager Beepo. Woo! Cheer, cheer, cheer. <laughs> I'm getting excited about this. A pro tour run? Can we really do it? Wow. Someone else doing all the paperwork and heavy business lifting? I'm perfectly okay with this. <laughs> Friends, to the pizzeria! For only the finest and celebratory deep dish pies! Yeah! Everyone's... <laughs> Give me more pizza! Everyone storms Ben and Matt's pizzeria. Intent on scarfing down pepperoni and mozzarella by the pound. <gasps> yeah! Heck yeah. It's happening. It's really happening. Now I'm just looking around at all the signs being lit up. Yeah. It's super pretty. Yeah, watching them <laughs> glow. Um, tomorrow my new friends and I begin our begin our training for the pro tour. We're going to be pro a pro esports team. My dreams are finally coming true. It'll be hard work, but I know we can do this. Or, this is my time. This is our hour. We will triumph. Getting paid to play video games? Hot damn. Sign me up. <laughs> this is my time. This is our hour. We will triumph. We will triumph. In front of me, I see a golden path of opportunity lined with a razor wire and fire pits, <laughs> but open and inviting, and I'm going to walk it with pride. It won't be easy, but with strength and determination, I know we can do this. It's time for a new empire, and we will rise to the top. Yes. Together, we can accomplish anything. Get ready, 20XX. Your new challengers are here. Oh. They set the title! Oh my god! <laughs> Level complete! Yay! You've completed this demo of Arcade Spears the New Challengers! Victory! Yeah! Let's take a look at your scores. <laughs> so much a domino. <laughs> <laughs> That's weird, I thought Jinx would be a higher, but... Uh, uh, yeah. Well, I guess it's because we sided with Domino's idea. Yeah. During the racing scene. <laughs> Domino's opening up to you. Not bad. Looks like your personality is full of guts. Strong guts. <laughs> so many guts. Thank you so much for playing, and we hope to see you again when Arcade Spirits New Challengers launches in early 2020. 2020, 2020, 2020, 2020, 2020, 2020, 2020, 2020, 2020, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20
design your own player, character, and rival. Build relationships with seven romanceful characters. Grow your personal personality through role-playing choices. Manage your team and fight through all obstacles. Fight in the fist of discomfort to strategy mini-game. Import your decisions from the original arcade spirits. No. And then you can find them at these locations, arcadespirits.com yeah. or at arcadespiritsvn. Yeah! Yeah! And we will leave links to the demo for the, this demo that you just saw us mm-hmm. play that is available on Steam and Itch. Yeah. And maybe we will even do a playthrough of the first Arcade Spirits? Maybe. I thought we were planning on it. <laughs> <laughs> Wink. <laughs> Who knows what the future will bring. <laughs> I don't know why I'm leaning into the it's a mystery thing when I am just like, yeah! <laughs> like, yes, absolutely, let's do it. <laughs> You're like, well, maybe. But yes, we will. Because it's very good. <laughs> but yes, we will. I, it's just a, like, I don't know. It's one of those stories that I really love to get to share to other people. It's yeah. Extremely good. So, at some point on the channel, you see it pop up. That's the actual mystery, is that we don't know when it's going to happen yet. Yeah. <laughs> but either way, I am super excited for this game, and this yes. demo is so much fun. Yeah, this was really great. Alright, well, we'll have to wait for the full game! Yeah, we'll wrap here for now, and then in <laughs> 20XX, we'll <Yeah>. be back. <laughs> Hell yeah!